The brain is the most important organ we have, but yet it's the least understood and the one that people are afraid of. And I want to help you not be afraid of it. So how do we actually improve the health of our brain? Well, first, what are some symptoms that your brain may not be as healthy as you'd like to be? Brain fog. Now, everyone describes this a little bit differently. Maybe it's you're zoning out, your brain's not processing at speed it should, problems with word finding and things like that. Fatigue. Yes, we will talk about this in more, but chronic fatigue, think brain. Memory issues, specifically short-term memory. Word finding, mood, depression, anxiety, irritability, quick to anger, attention, and really this list could go on and on from insomnia to gut issues and much more. So do you have some of those symptoms? Probably, right? So what happens then? How do we get the brain healthier? Well, first we have to understand is how is the brain connecting? Because the symptoms are of a brain that's not connected as well as it should be, but how do you even evaluate that? Well, we have eyes. So our eyes are the window into the health of the brain. Now, I'm not talking about going to an eye doctor and make sure your prescription's good. Yes, that needs to be done, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how your brain coordinates movements, keep your eyes still on targets, tracking, shifting your attention, and much more. I get it. It may sound simple, but there's textbooks on it that are 800 pages because that's the amount of detail and effort that's required to perform those movements. We just take those for granted. Next. Balance. So balance is a great indicator of brain health as well. Now, a lot of people say, well, my balance is great. I'm not running into things. I'm not clumsy. I'm okay. Well, that's great, but that's not exactly what we're talking about. We're saying, how do you do with eyes open, eyes closed on a firm surface and on an even surface? What about one foot in front of the other? Most people have never actually had this evaluated. And so they assume they are good, but upon testing, they're are lots that struggle and then there's also some that do well but if you don't test you're guessing and you're assuming and don't assume with your brain so those are two big ones okay we can go into brain waves cognition and other things but we'll leave it at this next energy so when the brain is not as healthy it doesn't produce and use energy as well so imagine you're used to driving a honda civic getting great gas mileage and now i tell you you've got an f-350 that is not get the same gas mileage, okay? So if I give you 10 gallons of gas, you cannot do as much. That's one of the reasons why people end up with fatigue. But the other thing is, did you know that your brain uses more energy than any other part of the body? Really about 25%. 25% for something that only weighs a few pounds. So this is a really big deal. And people get their thyroid looked at, they get anemia looked at, they get hormones, right? They focus on all of this stuff, but they've never actually looked at the health of their brain. So I see this as a big culprit for those with chronic fatigue. And lastly is inflammation. Inflammation in the brain, but also inflammation in the body can hurt the brain as well. All of these ultimately interact with each other. So if your energy goes down, your connections get impaired. Inflammation also messes with this. So this is the full, well-rounded approach that should be done if you are worried about your brain health. Maybe you have brain symptoms. Maybe you want to make sure your brain stays good as you age because dementia, Alzheimer's is the biggest worry that most people have as they get older. But as you can see, right, there are things that can be done now to evaluate how your brain is doing. Then we come in here, we support how the brain produces and uses energy. That's through nutrition, supplements, lifestyle, with inflammation, we say, okay, where are a lot of the labs at, right? And this is not your basic CBC, liver, kidney panels. This is going much more in depth to get a full, well-rounded picture of your health. Hope you found this useful. Please give me a like, comment, share, and follow me. If you have questions, please let me know. Until next time, this is Dr. Z, Brain Guy.